You're going to hear an audio tape of Grandma Yola Banker, Grandma Yola Martinet, Martina Banker, and I'm going to show you photos of the family. This is me when I was a toddler at 98.35. There's the Franklin stove uh, fireplace thing and all the bricks. And there I am feeding a, uh, I don't know what that is, maybe a goat, looks like a goat. And this next photo is really great of Grandma Ma, that would be Grandma Yola's mother, Ida. This was after she had her stroke, when she was living at the um, nursing home in Sierra Madre, where my mom had worked before but was not working at the time. And um, I like the flower in her hair and the earring. This must have been shortly after she had her stroke, after Ida, that's Ida Martinet, Ida Martina, because I am pretty little there. It's a great picture of Grandma Yola. You're going to hear Grandma Yola talking. Um, she's going to tell me how much she loves me in her dialect, Prustinank, the Waldensian dialect. She's going to say, uh, I love you with all of my heart uh, for always, always, always. And um, I think I had prepared, um, it was Christmas time, and I had maybe set a nice table or, you know, some something. I'm not sure what it was, but I made it look pretty, decorated something. And so Grandma Yola and then my mom, Yolanda Lani, uh, will be commenting on that. I think uh, this tape was taken in 2003, so... January, or December, it would be, of 2002, um, because the, the end of the tape is January 2003, so yeah, this was Christmas time 2002 when you hear the tape here coming up, so we were still living in Westwood while I was going to UCLA, here we go. Sounds like maybe I made a little breakfast for them. I would do that sometimes. Uh, and, and decorated the table pretty or something. Or maybe this was Christmas morning. She said the word for how to cry, what to cry means in the dialect. So, so say, say. Pura means. Oh, pura. 
Yeah, it's kind of like piangere in Italian. Pura means cry in the Waldensian dialect. Prusting ink. This is how we say listen, scuta. Pura means cry. <laughs> so, so, so say, say listen. Scuta. <laughs> Scuta la musica pelo natale. Pelo natale? No, I don't know how to say Scuta. We have no heart. Scuta o te urie. Slowly. Scuta o te urie. Mm -hmm. Listen with your ears. Sa Scuta, listen, u with tue, <laughs> tue, urie, your ears. This is Grandma Yola and me uh, with a baguette of French bread between us. And uh, we were each biting an end of the baguette. Uh, now, this photo was taken at uh, 9863, so this photo, of course, was some of these photos, like this one, were after um, the tape was made. So, after 2003, that's when we came back to Emperor. So, that's me, my profile right there. Kind of hard to recognize, actually. <laughs> And there's Grandma Yola, with her hair styled and wearing a pretty jacket, that baguette. And the next photo is um, my cousins in Iowa, when we went to visit them, I think in Des Moines, Iowa. That's one of the twins, either Fred or, <laughs> Fred or Harry, or no, Fred or Herb and Harry. No, I'm sorry, not Fred, it's Herb or Harry. Um, the sons of Fred, I think. So Herb or Harry Reed, sons of Fred Reed. I think they they were in the tire business. So they had a big farm, you'll see in a minute. And I got to ride their tractor. The next couple photos will be taken at their farm. Musica Pello Natale. Pello Natale? That was Grandma Yola singing Silent Night, and then I think I was humming along uh, the melody. So this is their farm, uh, our cousins in Iowa and Des Moines, Herb and Harry's farm. And then the next photo is just in the backyard at 98. Well, let's just do uh, some more at the farm here. Those must be my somewhat distant cousins, some of the children and relatives of Herb or Harry Reed.
escuto nuestra música de Natale. What is it? Did everybody listen to our Christmas music? How do you say it? did everybody? Escuta. I don't know. You always say that. I thought you said Oh, well. Say la vie. I guess it's supposed to be say la vie. But I say say la guerre. La guerra. So, uh. Guerre is war, just like guerra. Guerra is dialect for war. I guess Grammyola was just saying maybe sometimes, uh, instead of using the quote unquote proper phrase of saying c'est la vie, like, you know, that's life, <clears throat> she would say uh, c'est la guerre. Maybe that's French, guerre. That's war. <laughs> but uh, she really didn't say that too much. <laughs> So this photo was taken in the backyard at uh, 9835, I think. It's kind of weird the way it came out. But yeah, that, that looks like 9835 to me. So yeah, Grandma Yola and I fixed it up. It was really weedy before, a lot of weeds and... We planted trees and <clears throat> planted all that grass. There's my dog, Phantom, Fanny. And the next two photos were taken at the um, uh, nursing home where Grandmama or Ida Martinet, Ida Martina, was where she lived for a couple of years, uh, probably two or three years. I'd say three, maybe. And as you can see, that must be her nurse on the left there. So, what is that? And Christine Ank, you uh -huh. said the war and Christine Ank is... Guerra. Like, real loud and slow. Say la guerra. Don't quote me. I'm not quoting you. I'm just saying this is what your opinion is. Well, yeah, I think they... I don't... They don't celebrate it or... Huh? Who's they? Christian Inc. Uh -huh. The Pema kids. The, like your mom. From Prorostino. Yeah. The people from Prorostino, the Waldensians that speak Prustin Inc. Um, her mom's people, so Ida's people, uh, were talking about what they celebrate around. Christmas time, so I think in January they celebrate something. I don't, they don't celebrate it, are Don't quote me. I'm not quoting you, I'm just saying this is what your opinion is. Well, yeah, I think they, I don't, they don't celebrate it, are Huh? Who's they? Christian Inc. Uh -huh. The Pimotis. Like your mom. Pimotis. that they celebrate like 21 days after Christ was born or something like that. I, I don't know. I don't really know. So like the first week of January? No, I think it's a little later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, somewhere in January. Someplace, yeah. 21 days or something like that. I don't know. I don't really know. You know, if they had any, a party or did they just... I don't know. Probably go anymore? to church. You just go to church? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I really don't know. The mola. The Christian ink. Piata the mola. What's that mean? Piata is dish. Mm -hmm. Well, a mold, I guess. I don't know. Mola or, or maybe flat, like you said? Oh, flat. Because you said in English it was like flat tire. Yeah, right. yeah. Piata the mola. I don't know what it means. Piata the mola. <laughs> Say it one more time. Piata the mola. So what is the flat? Your mom would always call people who were kind of well, kind of 
song uh grammyola was singing uh she would sing that song to me when i would wake up in the morning she'd wake me up with that you know uh peppy song so this is at the nursing home um it must just be a, a boy that i met there that you know maybe we were kind of friends i don't remember maybe there weren't too many children there so you know, the children kind of uh, flock together. <laughs> and this photo was taken at 9835. It's the big table we had there. The chandelier. Yeah, so Grammyola was explaining what the word or the phrase piatta mola means in Prustinank. Uh, piatta mola uh, kind of means like a dud, you know, they're, um, they're just not sociable and um, kind of dull, you know, not a good conversationalist. Um, Uh, something like that. <laughs> Here's my mom, Yolanda Lani, banker coats with some of her Halloween decorations. She liked to put on some uh, Halloween parties with strobe lights and games for us, or maybe me and the Girl Scouts, or just my, my friends. a good photo of Grandpa Bob and me. Grandpa Bob, Robert Lemuel Banker. And uh, this was 9835. That's the couch that they had that I always remember. I remember that couch so much. And that blanket there is what we call Grandma Ma's blanket. Uh, it's like crocheted. And uh, I mean we've had that for decades as you can see. Uh, we had it Grandma Yola was still wearing it, or, you know, having, putting it on occasionally, even in 2020. 
Um, yeah, it's, uh, Grandmama used to uh, have it when she was at the uh, nursing home. So uh, I guess she wore it, had it on a lot. So it's got, kind of got a name. It got named Grandmama's Blanket. And uh, see on the bookshelf here, there was a whole, the lower shelf was like all encyclopedia books. I don't know if I looked at them that much, but maybe sometimes. Guess I was all dressed up there. I didn't always wear a dress like that. It must have been some special occasion. Next couple photos were taken at uh, Santa Cruz at where Grandma Yola and Grandpa Bob's son Jack lived for a while. From their that was the view from their yard. <laughs> you don't know that. Well, this question here says in the blood appetite, it says, "Can I step the turkey ahead of time?" It says, "No, stepping." The bird in advance makes the stuffing susceptible to bacterial growth. Plus, stuffing chilled in the turkey might not get hot enough during roasting. Since it's insulated by the bird, to reach a safe temperature, 165 for degree, degrees for eating. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving or Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> a happy New Year. Annie's radio is crackling and popping and it's driving me berserk. So I'm going to go put some new batteries in it and I hope it helps. When she said Annie's radio, she means the micro cassette. Uh, player that I use to record these tapes. There's my dog, Phantom, Fanny. Driving me berserk, so I'm going to go put some new batteries in it, and I hope it helps. Crackle and pop. Yeah, that's how the radio sounds. Right? Oh. <laughs> 